Hello there, listeners, and welcome to the first of many encounters with Satan. Some of the most dramatic and prevalent encounters with the father of lies have to do with saints, who were often reported as not only having come face to face with the Dark One, but also doing battle with him. One of the early of these accounts is that of St. Dunstan, who was a clergyman in England in the 10th century, eventually the Archbishop of Canterbury. He was considered by many to be a pious, respected man of the cloth, as well as a musician, artist, and skilled metalsmith. He was also said to have had several encounters with the devil himself. One of St. Dunstan's first encounters with Satan was allegedly while he was living in Glastonbury as a hermit. One day a mysterious stranger approached him and requested of him to use his metal smithing prowess to make a chalice for him. Dunstan agreed and set to work making the requested fucking item. But as he did so, he noticed that the stranger was changing forms right before his eyes, going from a man to a woman to a child, flowing from one form to the other. It became clear that this was the devil, but Dunstan acted as if he hadn't noticed continuing with his work as if nothing was amiss. Then when the chance presented itself, he reportedly grabbed a pair of red hot tongs from the fireplace and pierced them into the intruder's nostrils, which caused great screams of pain and cast the devil out. However, the devil was not so easily dissuaded and came to visit St. Dunstan again on another occasion, this time as he sat playing the harp the devil came to him in the form of a filthy, smelly fucking vagrant. But Dunstan was immediately aware of who he really was. As the stranger approached, Dunstan allegedly grabbed him by the leg and began shooing his bitch ass as you might do a horse, nailing a horseshoe to his cloven foot. The devil supposedly screamed in agony and agreed to be released on the condition that he never again approach a house with a horseshoe hanging over the doorway and thus was the legend born that horseshoes are lucky. It is partially due to St. Dunstan's repeated warding off the devil that he was eventually made a saint. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Twisted Hairs, out.